Hey there guys, Welsh Hunter here and we are back! Oh my god, a couple of uh, explores over the last few days slowly being released to you over the next few weeks. So today we have come to... Well, I'm, today I'm joined by Top Abandoned Places, Mr. Sam from Top Abandoned Places. So we have come to this Penalt Lime Quarry. Uh, later they done, uh, well they started get in lime and uh, silica so so we come here today so obviously this is one of the main buildings I am currently stood on a weigh, weighing build, uh, table for the trucks and the trams that used to be pulled through here so I'll uh, show you that now guys and we'll get on with this explore there's a few buildings and ruins around here so we're gonna just gonna have a bit of fun guys and see where this goes so here we go Okay guys, so as you can see by there, we have this building. I think this is like the main office to uh, be able to book yourself in, that type of thing. We've got a weighing table by there, but you can see there was like a multi-purpose weighing table. We've got tram lines, as you can see, going right at the cent uh, sides by there, so tram lines. Uh, and obviously the railway used to run straight through there to that building by there, which is the old train station. But uh, we got things over there, guys. We got things by here. We got this building by here. We got big ruins up there, guys. We're going to take a look at, and we got. It might be further on up as well. So we're going to just take a look, Sam. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's have a look. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So one thing I've noticed by here, people have had a bit of target practice because <laughs> those are proper gunshots. Yep. That is bigger than a pellet. So obviously, someone have used proper guns up here. So that's bigger than a pellet hole, oh, yeah. and that's, that's some thick steel. Don't see any bullets now. To get through, so no, they're probably in the wood, mate, it's out in the block behind. But we've got some old computer stuff here. Probably come out here yeah, at some shame point. We can't get in here though. Shame we can't get in here. It's solid shut, all welded, and we got anti-climb paint everywhere, so we're not going to bother. <laughs> yeah, it's covered, isn't it? Obviously, a lot of the electrical stuff is still here. I've got a feeling they had cameras on here at some point. Some point, not anymore. But not anymore. Yeah, obviously they're probably a little storage area. But mind you, that's all freshly blocked up. See, look at that. That's all fresh. That's really... Yeah, that's quite fresh. But obviously this is all welded shut, guys. Not really quite old, it's 19th century. So it's 19th century quarry, guys, so it's quite old. As you can tell, it's just... But... Originally, they converted, as I mentioned in the intro, they converted that, that train station over there. Yeah. It was converted into passenger use in 1921 by oh. the Great Western Railway. So Great Western Railway? Yeah. 1981? 1921. 1921, okay. So this is the conveyor belt, guys. This stuff will make your hands black if you touch it. I've done that in Vena Quarry. Yeah. yeah, this stuff was everywhere, this black felt. It's the con old conveyor felt that is. But I don't know if you get... No, this stuff's actually quite clean in comparison. There's nothing come off on that. But Vena qu um, Quarry... No, it's quite clean in comparison. But Vena Quarry, that's uh, much younger than this place. So, um, yeah, it's, this is old, this is weathered, isn't it? So it's one of the, I, no, I think that's a ramp. That's the ramp. That's the ramp. They the where they the, the line. So lorries would back up by York, like quarry trucks, they're big ones with the big tyres. Yeah. Um, would back up to this area. Diggers then up on top, like back hose and whatnot, and would basically just tumble it all down into their buckets. That's what I can imagine that is. So you've got infrastructure everywhere, so they had several areas. There's a sign down there that says Hanson, so this must, this must be bought later on as well. Hanson, yeah. Hanson are a big quarry company as well. Massive quarry. They're still active as well. Yeah. Hansen, huh? These might have been toilet areas. Yeah, toilets. Has it got any holes in the ground? You don't know, it might, it might be just electrical areas then. And, oh, yeah. Uh, Asbestos. Bit of asbestos as well, guys. So be, be careful. Made of it. Yeah. So, a couple of electrical panels. But there, guys. 
and this is what they would see how beautiful is that that's a blue sky that not a bad day really not a bad day not a bad day and then you got these asbestos stuff everywhere so it's nasty stuff that so we've got some looks like a water container smell it because it might be fuel could be oil no it just smells rusty it's like a feeling this might have been water a water tank yeah so it's got an unstable structure obviously it's just made out of brick but we've got two two yeah they're kilns yeah i've seen a kiln before that's a lime kiln yeah well, they're lime kilns look at the way collapsed yeah there. look at the collapse just on that corner guys it's bonkers like and that's recent collapse as well as well so people this is the big walking area guys so people walk their pets here all the time so no wonder they're trying to Look at that, you can see that whole section's about to fall, can't you? It's just about to collapse around. Yeah, you can see it. It's sort of subsided there. Yeah, it have. That's all about the collapse. And it's an old one kill, side. Like it is, that's like... Late, uh, well, mid-century, I reckon. Look how big that thing is. Look at this view, though, guys. This view. Fantastic. Stunning view, guys. And that pure blue sky behind the clouds as well. So let's look at the next place, guys. Yeah. Okay then, guys, so we've just come up here now, guys, and look at this view, ready? Whoa. The camera does it no justice, so there's a big drop there, and that is such a big area. Yeah, if you go over that edge, right by there, you are knackered, my friend. And by the looks things, it's all falling, a falling down bit by bit. But look how vast this quarry is, guys. No, and you've got some lovely water patterns down there. It might be so good for a nice photo in a minute. It's the pure green on it. It's the algae at the bottom of it, it is. Although we can come back this way, because if we go over and have a, over back to that iron bridge first. Yeah, look at it though, guys. I would like to get on top of that mountain by there. Yeah, on top of the ridge and just take a photo. Be a good shot from up there. It would, mate. It would. We can get up there easy. So let's just. Uh, I'm just going to sit here and have a fag a minute, guys, and take in this view. To be quite fair, because this is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. We might just uh, take a quick look down there at the drop oh. with the camera, guys, just to show you how high this is. Oh, I'm just going to be careful and get down like that. <laughs> Sam's on his ass nearly. Come on, Sam. Whoa. Oh, wow, look at this. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. I don't want to get too close to the head because that's a drop. It's right there. If I stood there, it looks like that could literally subside. Yeah. So, this is very smushy ground, guys. That's why I don't want to get too close to the edge. Look at that drop. Get the camera over. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Taking my legs go just looking at it. Oh, down there as well. Not that it would that is good. bonkers. Look at that. Oh. Shit. <laughs> so we're going to sit down, guys. We're going to have a fag take in this view and then we're going to go and check out the rest of this guys and obviously the buildings that are over there yeah. <laughs> Holy sh this is amazing let's go so we just come to this spot now guys to have a couple of fags and just chill out taking the scenery how big is this though holy shit so we're gonna venture on in a second guys we just send the drone up you can see it right there nice little DJI Mavic Mini. Mavic Mini. Beautiful little drone. So we're gonna try and get some shots of this whole area by here before we head across to that bridge, which is somewhere over there and the ruins. So we're gonna so, so you'll see this in this drone footage guys in both of our videos. 
and obviously I will credit Sam at the same time. As soon as I get the drone, the wind I can feel a bit breezy. It should be alright though. Just don't send it up too high, we should be alright. So there we go, there he goes. Okay guys, so let's have a look at this drone footage then. Let's have a look. Okay then guys, so it seems to be some infrastructure by you, but we got some big ass tires. Yeah. So it looks like there was some buildings by you at one point. But then we got these big quarry tires, the trucks. Oh we found out also this since Yeah, this place has been closed since 1977. Yeah. Big ass quarry tyres, man. They're black, black, aren't they? Do you part mean? Of, part of the infrastructure, part of the rail infrastructure that they used for this quarry was actually built by the great engineer himself, isn't by King of Brunel. Yeah, so it was a long time ago. I wonder what this was. Don't know what that was. I think it was more of a. I don't know. We'll have to look into that. But just across here, guys, we've got. The bridge, I guess, and there was another some sort of building complex by you. Yeah, it's all gone. It's all gone now. You can see the that's it, mate. You can see the foundations. Looking pretty cool, to be quite fair. Yeah, we got some bricks by there, so maybe this was an office block of some sort. Because we had it all by there. Yeah, so technically we stood on top of what was once a building. So you got a tire by there, another part of the office by there. This place is so vast, guys, it's unreal. It is vast. And the sun has come out, which is lovely. <laughs> 
Okay. This is a beautiful place. Look at that, some of the old flooring, but they're the old tiles. So was this like a canteen area? Because that's what type of flooring they used to have. <laughs> and then we got a top of Bannon Places, my friend. <laughs> and then we got the bridge, it's unstable, can't cross it. Oh well, let's cross it then. Oh well, let's cross it anyway. <laughs> So I'm guessing this uh, quarry used to go on quite a distance down there as well. So we'll get photos of that in a bit. Yeah, and then there's the ruins over there that we want to go and see. <laughs> yeah. There's... So that's where we started down by there, guys. That's where the car was, and they used to come all the way under this, right down there and into there so god knows what's down there yeah there's some structures but they're over there is a caving center guys just over there in the distance so yeah amazing okay then guys so that's the bridge that we was just up on top of yeah it looks really marshy doesn't it but look at that, fantastic. I wonder what's up there though. Oh, it's, marsh. it's all marshy, look at that. But how amazing is that? Okay guys, so as you can see, we're on the other side of the bridge now. So we've just stood over there. Outside the bridge, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. A lot of, uh... But we just noticed this, a nice little sign with a shot firing warning signals before firing one three minute blast of siren all clear three short blasts of siren yep and obviously that's for all the blasting that used to take place in this massive beautiful quarry and that's where we started out guys but there. Yeah, and there's the car. So, like, we turn around by here now, and we've got this big. Wonderful cottages. It's either cottages or it's one big manor house. It might have been the owner of the. that used to own the quarry. And yeah, what looks like to be an active property over there. Yeah, and there's an active property next door to it. So, we're going to keep it relatively quiet and brisk so we can get out of here. So, we're just going to go and take a look at this quarry and um, this beautiful cottages or manor house I don't know but we've got a lovely bathtub look at those old taps though those old taps do look at those old taps do <laughs> and we've got it just to be honest mate it looks all like it could be in one big property I'm not sure. so let's go and have a look guys okay so we're just coming to the first part it's not Gonna be able to get in them, guys, because they are. We can probably just get on the wall, but they seem to be all separate dwellings because there's no access to different parts of the building. This really old mining era type building, but how amazing is this, guys? Look at that. There was probably a fireplace by there. Look at that wall, look at that wall though, and that's about to crumble any day now. That's just... No, that's old mate. Look at all these beams that were probably up on top of these before now. But look at that old fireplace though. Look at that fireplace. Amazing. Just all that growth as well. Coming from one tree, look at that, it's just spreading up over there. How amazing is that? Oh my God, look at that. Yeah. Just the outside of it is just falling away. With one little push, that could all collapse easy. Oh yeah. Easy. It's already, all of it's already come down there. Yeah, it has, yeah. Oh, wow, look at them here. I know, look at that. Three entrances, three houses. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Obviously there's nothing. Yeah, whole quarry workers' houses I can imagine. Or it might have been just residents, mate. Long ago, some gunshots on a plate by there. All there. 
All gun shots around here. Yeah, there's a lot of gun gun there's bullet there, bullet by horns. The, by the well, like yeah. That. But this is just simply amazing, guys. Nice bit of Welsh history there for you. This one has completely just fallen down. Look at that. Just missing one whole house by you. It's just all falling down. But then I, I believe there was damage sustained in the war as well. Yeah, wouldn't surprise me. Honestly, wouldn't. Honestly, wouldn't surprise me. And this one, it's a nice little windows intact. We yeah, seem, we seem to have a lovely fireplace there, and in the top left corner of the dwelling as well. Another one. Still a beam up there as well. Yeah. Just held Look on. Look at this one. Just held on by a little but bit. If I touch that, it's going to come down. <laughs> oh God. So we got one place to, one more place now, guys. Just up the road from here, literally. Within the same video. And uh, the same site, yeah, it's the same site, guys. It's all on the same site, the same video, and we will check it out, guys. So, see you in a second, okay, guys. So, a little bit funny before we get to that. There's a, st there's a gate there, we could have just uh, come over. There's a walking path, but we uh, we made it difficult for ourselves and come over barbed wire fencing. So, <laughs> so, we've come to this last area now where basically. It runs right alongside the um, railway tracks. Neath railway. John, you stumbled more, right, than what do you call it? Jonathan Ross did. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a lot of shit first off in here, guys. Brecon Neath Railway. There we go. So it looks like there's a lot of fertiliser and mud and shit in here, pretty much. But look at this, it's like a domed building. It's all pretty structurally safe. And then you've got this big hole in the wind uh, wall, but there, <laughs> but there as well. So God knows what was kept in here. I don't know what that is there. Either. But that, to me, that looks like it is some sort of military installation. The way it's built, I could be wrong. But look, what we're walking on by here are several little dwellings. Yeah. Several little dwellings. Don't know what these are, you got kilns over there, so we're gonna take a look at them in a the bit. But these are several little dwellings, which is quite nice. That looks like it's covering something. Yeah, that looks like it's covering a way into the mountain right by there. We're gonna have a look at that now. <laughs> but these these look like there's some sort of military installation. Like a bunker, because it's pure concrete. It's not like these other buildings that you can see by here and by here but that looks very militarised very very militarised what was this then guys? but what's down there though? that's the question why is, is, that, it, why is it being covered over? it's a mine I think an entrance to a mine or entrance to that bunker if that is a bunker because Should that is it? that is very militarised Should we move it? we can have a look, let's that's go true. Okay then guys, so yeah. that piece of metal was covering a mine a mine shaft. <laughs> Look at that. Um, I got a feeling this was placed here due to the climbing centre being over there. And this is maybe one of the mines that they use. Or to, stopped using. Or stopped using. So I got a feeling this is definitely one of the mining club's entrances to the mines and the tunnels around you. Question is, do we go in? Do we? Do we? That's the question. Because look at it down there. It looks. It looks like you can't go too far anyway. Let's have a look. I can't see exactly. Let's have a sit where you are. Yep. We've got a lot of equipment on us, and it gets pretty narrow. To be quite fair. Look at that. Now that's a definitely a caving job. That mate. We could go a bit in. But... We could go a bit in, but it gets awful narrow down there, yeah. and we'll need the proper equipment. We have, which, we which we have not got at this moment in time. And you don't know if there's any gases in there. 
And if we go slightly in, we'll have a little look. But look at that, guys. You've got the tram, well, what look like tram lines. So how they would have got up here, yeah, they would, yeah, mine for mine carts, but they would have had to pull that up here with a pulley system. Because that is steep, guys. It's eerie, isn't it? It is eerie. My God. Actually, I'm going to take a picture of you looking into the mine. Jesus Christ, look at that. That's madness. That looks like it hasn't been touched for years, mate. There's a lot of supports in there on the ground. There's piping on the ground. It's eerie. It's eerie. And then you've got this hole then to let any gases out by the looks of things. But that's madness. Look at that. Dudley. Yeah, we've got this uh, Dudley there as well on a rock, and we've got another name somewhere. Where did I see it? On oh, that that rock there. Dudley's more clear though, isn't it? Dudley is clear though. It's one of those name rocks, isn't it? The question is, is this a mine or is that? Because that looks like a bunker there to me, mate. Mm, but then there's all rocks in, like a, like a mine entrance. Yeah, before, but it? then it's like a mine entrance, like you said. Should like we you said, should we have a brief look inside? We could have a brief look, mate, if you want. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. I'm gonna check the mask on, actually. Okay, guys, I think we're just gonna venture just to where we can see the piping. Because we don't know how stable this no. thing is <laughs> at all. Just gonna have a quick look inside. Just quick look. Let's go. Right. Okay. Oh, this is weird. Oh. It's very dark. It's very, very, very dark. Should I get my lights out? Um, well, I might have to swap the battery out for this anyway. It's very, very, very dark, guys. Yeah. Don't seem like we can go too far down there. But my god. This is amazing. We've got railway tracks guys going as far as you can see the pipe in but there as well. It's very, very dark. This, uh, this is quite a big indentations in the flooring, right by there and by there and by there, like steps. So I got a feeling the caving company now use this as one of the attractions, if you want to put it that way. I don't know guys, I don't know. Can we get the torch out? Yeah, it might be worth it. Obviously, we don't want to spend too long in here. This is all natural rock, guys. It's not. It's all solid. Amazing. Let's uh, just wait for Santa to get his light, guys, and we can see the features. A little bit better, yeah. I'm afraid of banging my camera, to be honest with Okay, look at that though. There's something down by there. By the looks like they've been pumping it out. Because there's water buckets by there and this filtration system. Shit. Yeah, so we ain't gonna go as far as that. No, we're not we're not gonna get in at all, are no, we? No, we're not gonna get in at all. That's a that's a caving job that. But this is amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing, it's a tiny hole to get through, but I've got but look at that. I've got wet mud in my pants now. Yeah, me too, <laughs> mate. But I got a feeling the mining company have been. So you can see down there if I zoom in. Yeah. You can see. Right down the mine. Yeah. Probably goes in much, 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 much further, but that is all nowadays. There's a creek down by there. Hold that a minute, son. Yeah. There's a creek down by there, guys. All right, which is. Not all. Very dripping as well, proper mine. Yeah, proper field. mine fields. Right, there's a um, there's a bucket down with it, and that's all. There's hoses are connected to it. So I got a feeling that's been pumping out the water from this mine, and we got a cement bag by there. Because I got to be honest, some of this looks cemented. Yeah. Some of this looks. You can see it. You can see it there. Though. Yeah. Some of this has all been cemented. So I got a feeling someone, the mining club, literally just behind us. Cave. Well, the caving club. Yeah. The caving club. Yeah. Sorry. Um, has been renovating this for the the club. 
to be quite fair. But this is amazing. It is amazing. Yeah. Okay then, guys. Let's go check out the rest of it. I don't think we're going to be able to get down there at all. No. So uh, maybe in a few years we might. But we don't know yet. We don't know. We don't know. What a shame. It is a shame. What an absolute shame. Okay, so let's get out here, Sam. Yep. Let's get out here. Let's get a photo of it. Okay then guys, out of that little mine now, mine. this looks like some sort of, I don't know, it might be some sort of bridge that spanned, I've got a feeling that, spanned all the way across to those kilns. What do you reckon mate? What, Sam? What do you reckon that span all the way over connected to that? Yeah, but it's the same height. Yeah, our lights are over there, aren't they? Oh yeah. So, unreal guys. That, I did not expect to find that mine. But, I don't know what this is. This might be mine infrastructure for that mine by there that we just looked at. Could very well have been. And these are all the little buildings to do with it. Nice. <laughs> so I'm collecting our lighters because we did not want to take them into the mine. Just common sense, really. See? They always say about keeping green, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> so, what I'm thinking, Sam, Sam, what I'm thinking, this is the infrastructure for that mine. These are all the buildings for that mine. Yeah, this is all the buildings. And those buildings by there for that mine by there. Makes sense, doesn't it? Exactly. Makes a lot of sense, actually. But this place is bonkers, guys. The silica mines are full on. Yeah. Full on mine, we'll have to do that. Because, so definitely. But look at that. Ooh. I don't think that's a mine, though. Not a shaft. I think that's just been where it's fallen, bro. Yeah. Yeah. But look at all these blocks guys these formed once a building or a kiln and as far as you can see that's all these buildings as well yep. it's all dwellings and kilns big 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 buildings you can imagine all across here just all falling just all falling all the way down. So I think this is roughly it, guys. It's not much. Yeah, it's just a lot of rubble now, guys. It's nothing special. Obviously, it's Welsh history, but I think this Welsh is. Mining history. Yeah, it's Welsh mining history and slate mining and quarry history. But as you can see, guys, it's all knocked down. All gone. All gone. gone as far gone. as you can see. Gone but not forgotten. 100% mate, 100%. Amazing. Okay then guys, so that would be it for this explore guys. Um, it was a bit to look at today, fair play. Um, a lot of quarry area, plus this seems like a bit of a mining area. All on the same site, so that's cool. Bit of a two in one explore if you want to put it that way. Um, thanks for Sam for joining us. Obviously, I will uh, 
put the, his link in the description below guys so go and check that out um, if you're not a patreon member or a channel member through the join button on youtube consider it guys really really cheap and you get some amazing behind the scenes stuff footage videos uh photographs price off merch that type of thing and loads of other different benefits um obviously you saw sam's drone footage on my video today um obviously oh i have so placed that in the description below so you can go and check his version of this explorer so thank you very very much guys thank you to sam from top of Anna places link in the description below go and check it out guys and i shall see you very very soon love you all guys much appreciated bye bye for now